and given the matrices A, B and C which are appearing on the screen here. In this video, I am going to perform some basic matrix operations, addition and subtraction, scalar multiplication, multiplication of two matrices, finding the determinant of a matrix, finding the transpose of a matrix and finding the inverse of a matrix. So what I have done here, I have entered text in my live script there. So the next thing that I will now do is add the commands which perform these operations that I have listed there. So the first thing is I will go on enter, enter these matrices A, B and C. I will click here, press the return key. Then I will go to live editor, go to code. Because I am now inserting MATLAB code to enter these matrices. To enter a matrix, I type in my A is equals to open square brackets, these ones, and then enter the first row, separating the elements by a space. So I 1, then minus 2, and then minus 5. And then go on to the second row. To move on to the second row, I use a semicolon. Then enter the second row. 3, space, 4, 0. Then go to the next row, semicolon. Then enter those elements, separating them by a space. So it's 2, 1, minus 3. So I'm done with uh, the A, the, the rows. I have added the, those three rows. So I come out of uh, the square brackets there. I press the return key. Then I enter my B. So B is equals to the procedure is the same. Square brackets. Then enter the first row of B. So for the first row of B there, it's a 1. Separating them by a space. Then a 2. Then a 0. Move on to the next row, which is 1, 5, 2 there. So it will be 1, then 5, then 2. I move on to the next row, which is 4, 5, minus 2. So I put a semicolon, then 4, space, 5, then minus 2. I'm done with matrix B now. I go to matrix C. So I type in my C is equals to open square brackets, the first row of C. That's 2, space, 3. Go to the next row. So I put a semicolon. Then it's 7, 1. And then semicolon to indicate I'm going to the next row, which is 5, 3. So I'm done entering my matrices there. I can just uh, click on run section so that I can see the result here. And we have the matrices there. They are appearing, yes, they are here. So I have entered the matrices correctly. I then go on to perform the operations. So I now want to perform addition and subtraction. So I will go where I have my text there, the addition and subtraction. I click on code because I am now entering the matrix code for addition. It's just the A, then plus the matrix B. Then if it's like this, then it will give us the sum of the matrices A and B. So I can just run here. And as you can see, it gives the solution there 2, 0, minus 5, 4, 9, 2, 6, 6, minus 5. And if I want the A minus B, I can just type in the A, then minus B. I can run this section. And uh, the A minus B is the one which is below the answer that we had obtained earlier. This is 0, minus 4, minus 5, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 4, minus 1. I now go on to the next one, which is scalar multiplication. We are multiplying the matrix A by 4. So I press here and press the return key. So for the scalar multiplication, I will go to code. And let me call the scalar multiplication just SM. So scalar multiplication SM is equals to so it's four then multiplied by then by the A. Then I can run the code here. 
So it's giving us the SM there, which is the result of multiplying 4 by the matrix A, which gives us the matrix which is rows 4, minus 8, minus 20, 12, 16, 0, 8, 4, minus 12. I now go on to the next part there. We are now doing matrix multiplication. I press the return key. So for matrix multiplication, I'll go to code there so, so that I enter the MATLAB code. So for the product of A and B, I'll just call it A, B equals 2. So for A and B, we're saying A, then multiplied by matrix B. Then I can just run so that we see the result there. We see that here, the A, B is giving us minus 12, minus 33, 6, 7, 26, 8, minus 9, minus 6, 8. For the next one, we are looking at A times C. I'll call it matrix AC. So AC is equals to A multiplied by C. We are multiplying a 3 by 3 by a 3 by 2. So I can just run here. And uh, we see that it's giving us a solution. The AC there is a 3 by 2 matrix, which is rows minus 37, minus 14, 34, 13, minus 4, minus 2. So that is what is expected there, because when you multiply a 3 by 3 by a 3 by 2, the result that we get is a 3 by 2 matrix. I now go on to the next part, finding the determinant of A. So I click here, then code so that I enter the code for evaluating the determinant of A. The code for the determinant of A is just DET. And DET, and uh, I press open parenthesis, then the matrix A. So the determinant of the matrix A, I can come here and run. And it's giving us the, the answer is minus 5. I can now go on to finding the transpose of the matrix A. So I press here where I have my text, then enter the code. For the transpose of a matrix A in MATLAB, we use the single quote. So I'll type in A, then put the single quote. So this one will give us the transpose of the matrix A. The rows become the columns. So I can just run there. And we see that it's giving us the answer here. 1, 3, 2, minus 2, 4, 1, minus 5, 0, minus 3. I now go on to finding the inverse of the matrix A. So I can just press here. Then click on the code there so that I enter the MATLAB code for evaluating the inverse of the matrix A. So for the inverse, you just type in INV. Open parenthesis, then you put the matrix that you want to evaluate the inverse of. So the inverse of A, and then I go on and run. So it's giving us the inverse of A there is 2.4, 2.2, minus 4, minus 1.8, minus 1.4, 3, 1, 1, minus 2. But we can change the format of this output. What I can do is I can go on and out at the way I entered my A here. What I can do is I can enter A as a symbolic matrix. So to do that, I can just go here and edit. So what I'll do is for it to be a symbolic matrix, I'll type S Y M. Open parenthesis, then go to the end, then close parenthesis. So I have altered the way that I entered the A there. I have put it as a symbolic matrix. Then I go on and run again. It now gives us the inverse there with the elements being fractions there. So the inverse of the matrix A there is elements 12 over 5, 11 over 5, minus 4, minus 9 over 5, minus 7 over 5, 3, 1, 1, minus 2. So if you just want to change uh, the output there, or enter, uh, make that matrix as a symbolic matrix. So when I'm done here, I can just uh, export my work as an HTML or a PDF file so that we have uh, the text, the code, and the solutions appearing below.
so i can just go to where it says save here i can save the document saving what i had done and then go on to export you can export to pdf word or html in this case let me just export to html click on export it asks me to open in another tab there so it's now giving us the text that i had entered then the matlib code then the result there because this is the a the matlib code for entering a then the a then the b then the c and we have our addition and subtraction a plus b is giving us the answer the a minus b the result then the scalar multiplication the multiplication of matrices a times b then a times c the determinant of the matrix a minus 5 the transpose of the matrix a 1 3 2 minus 2 4 1 minus 5 0 minus 3 and lastly here we have our result there for the inverse